We purchased a Caribe dinghy and a trailer in Panama City. Andres, a fellow South African, agreed to bring it by road to Almirante, a 590-kilometer journey across the mountains. From Almirante on the mainland to Caranero Island, Aventura will be used to ship the dinghy and trailer the last 35 kilometers across the sea. Our challenge is to lift the dinghy from the docks and lower it into the sea, then to lift the trailer from the docks onto Aventura by using the boom and the main halyard. And now for action. Andri sparked the trailer as close to the docks as possible. Marius attaches the halyard to the dinghy and secures it on the boom extension pulley. The block on the underside of the boom is in preparation for lifting the trailer. He also secures the dock line to the dinghy to use it to guide the dinghy when we swing it around Aventura. I am grinding the winch to lift the dinghy from the trailer. The dinghy is now behind Aventura and in a position where we can ease it into the sea. With the dinghy in the sea, we can tackle the next challenge, and that is to get the trailer on board Aventura without injury to individuals or damage to the boat. And Milo escaped, and she runs for the dirty water pool to cool down. All hands were required on deck to get the trailer on board, so this part was not videoed, but it was an easy process lift and pull and secure for sailing. Have you ever seen a donkey cart on a catamaran? We South Africans love our trailers, but this is taking the love too far. We sail to Caranero Island without any mishaps, but we are all apprehensive about getting the trailer off Aventura and onto our island where there are no roads and we must move it over the water. People in the boats passing us craned their necks to see what it was that we loaded onto Aventura because a trailer on a boat is an unusual sight. The main halyard and boom work perfectly as a crane to lift and then to swing the trailer from the dock onto Aventura. To be able to move the trailer into the sea, we would not need to swing it too far so we could use the spinnaker halyard, which is easier than using the main halyard. The boat fenders were secured under the trailer frame to help it to float, we hope. We slowly winched the trailer into the sea to see if it will float correctly. And it did. Marius pulled the trailer with the dinghy and we pushed the trailer away from the boat. Success! The trailer splashed into the sea and it did not sink. What a strange sight for everyone! A drifting trailer pulled by a dinghy towards our house on Caranero Island. Carol cannot stop laughing and saying our son Davi would have said, Just sink that ugly thing. Now we are getting overconfident. Why do two trips? Just put the old dinghy on top of the trailer and take them both across the sea. Luckily that didn't work. So the floating trailer went first and then the dinghy. Marius did a few broadsides to show that we made a good choice 
buying the dinghy with, with its more powerful engine. A trailer floating next to a dinghy is a very strange sight. We have now pulled the trailer and the dinghy to the shallow area to be able to take them out of the water. We had to get the contraption around a few obstacles, but got to shore without any mishaps. Salty and Milu found it very interesting and watched every move we made. Now we must have all hands on deck. Marius fastened the boat winch to a tree and we pulled it out of the water. Our next challenge is to repeat the process to get the old dinghy out of the water and onto the trailer. With the dinghy on top of the trailer, we can now move it to a secure spot. When all our other important projects are completed, we will come back to clean and paint the trailer and to service the trailer bearings. The dinghy and trailer will then be sold. This will be covered in one of our next videos.